from a um, predictable response, if we think about some of the uh, things that we've done around performance, one of the big areas that we've changed um, that we learned from our own experiences with previous versions of the product. How many of you went from SQL Server 2000 to 2005? Okay. Feel any pain points around performance when you made that upgrade? All right. One of the big things that we did when we made that shift um, with, with the introduction of Server two, or SQL 2008 was the ability to go in and, and freeze a plan. What that means is you can take the performance that you were expecting in SQL Server 2005, upgrade your infrastructure to 2008, and be able to expect the same performance after you've made that migration. Another big change in terms of performance is resource governor. How many of you are stacking uh, production databases and um, test databases or development databases on the same server? Yeah, pretty common, right? I mean, you have to, you have to use what you have for resources. Well, kind of scary to think that you're a DBA or, an, a, or a developer who's working on that test database might be able to use all the resources for that server and take uh, the performance of that production database uh, way down. With the resource governor, we can assign certain thresholds. It's really quality of service that we're assigning to a database and say, nope, production database will always get X amount of resources assigned to it. Everything else is, uh, is open for whoever wants to attack that and take those resources over. So you can share those databases without worrying about affecting overall performance of the server. Uh, 